Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to go over one of my favorite ETFs for passive income in 2022. This is also one of my staples in my portfolio, and that is GDV. GDV is from Brompton Funds, and it yields at over 10%. Before we get into the analysis of this ETF, if you could please subscribe and like the video, that would greatly help me out. So going on to the details, the ticker is GDV. It is currently paying out over 10%. And the fund manager is Brompton Funds and the dividends are paid out on a monthly basis which is nice because that means the dividends compound at a faster rate as opposed to paying out quarterly. This ETF holds global companies that have a history of increasing their dividends. So some more facts about this ETF is that it is audited by Pricewaterhouse Cooperations LLP. It is relatively new with an inception date of June 15, 2018. So going on to the company's website, GDV is a global dividend growth split corp, meaning that it invests in global large cap companies that have a history of growing their dividends. And if we go down to the Y Invest, we can see that it's an active managed portfolio of large cap companies on a global perspective. These dividend global paying companies have historically outperformed the broader global equity market with low volatility. These companies provide us Canadians opportunity to diversify in sectors that are underrepresented in Canada. And these companies have potential for enhancement of capital appreciation due to the leverage exposure to the portfolio. So I really like Brompton Funds because they have good split shares. And if you're wondering what split shares are, they invest in a portfolio of high quality dividend paying stocks. And these split shares use covered call writing to enhance the yield while returning low volatility and split shares they offer two types of shares you can get class a shares and preferred shares class a shares offer enhanced capital appreciation potential and they often pay out high monthly dividends while preferred shares they're a bit more conservative and they're a steady income stream and it's more so suited if you're closer to retirement both of these funds are eligible for tax-free meaning that you can buy them both and TFSAs and RRSPs. So looking at the portfolio on the geographic allocation, we see that about 50% is from the United States, about 14% from Canada, 12% from France, 6.6% from Ireland, 4.8% from Netherlands, 46 from Germany, and we see that these other smaller countries that we get diversification from. Uh, looking at the sector, we got about 20% at information technology, 15% from financials, 14 from healthcare, 11% industrial, 10% consumer discretionary, 9% consumer staples, 7% materials, 5.2% at energy, 25 from utilities. So going over some of the top holdings, we see Canada Natural Resources, we see TD Bank, Bank of Nova Scotia, we see TELUS, Rogers, Apple, Microsoft, and then another good part is that no one company in this portfolio takes over 2.6%. The top is Canada Natural Resources at 2.6 and then no company takes more than that percent. So looking at the performance here, uh, you see that there's GDV Class A shares and Preferred shares. Personally, I go for the Class A shares as they do pay out a higher yield. So we see that since inception, if you had invested $10,000, it would now be worth that over $14,000 and you would be collecting that juicy dividend yield as well. It's got an average rate of return of about 9.5% year over year. And then you see that dividend growth as well. So some of the key reasonings why I really like this ETF is that because it's actively managed. It's a great ETF because no one company is over 2.6% exposure. It is paid out on a monthly basis with high dividend yield. It is great for multiple sector diversification. You have many holdings and you have a flawed dividend history with no misses and it is great for passive income. And with that guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the content and if you could please subscribe and like the video, that would greatly help me out. And feel free to leave in the comment section some future video ideas that you guys would like to see and I can work that out. Once again, stay classy.